when you're great, when you're the best of the best, you know, the cream rises to the top. But the competition, I mean, the other team is not your competition. Your competition is yourself. So when you're competing against yourself, right, and you're competing to be the best you that you can be, it don't matter who lines up across from you because you're going to execute to your standard in order to appeal to yourself. But so often as a society, we get so caught up with keeping up with the Joneses, right? We get so caught up with competing with other people that we forget to compete with ourselves. And if you're competing with other people, no matter how great they are, no matter how much better than you they are, you will always sell yourself short. Because once you pass them, you go, oh, I've made it. But where's your ceiling? You know what I mean? Where could you actually be? You might just be on the second or third floor of the house. And y'all got an attic up there that you ain't even, you didn't even know the attic was up there. You didn't even pull it down, creep up in there to see. Why? Because you're worried about what's happening next to you. Heard, you're worried about what's happening next door. You're worried about what's happening across the street, across the country, across the world. That you didn't just take the time to look at yourself. And set your own standard, you know. Because if you are in competition with everybody else all the time, I promise, man, look here. It's always going to be somebody that's better than you. You're always going to be bitter. You're always going to be upset. You know? There's nothing wrong with keeping score, you know, looking next door to see how things are going. But understand, ultimately, the competition is internal, man. The best of the best, the elite of the elite, they compete with themselves. Like, like, like when I come in here and I and I record, I, I'm a personalized. When I come in here and record this podcast, I'm competing with myself. Are there people out here who who, who are taking a market share that I would love? Absolutely, yeah. That that goes without saying. Do I want some of that market share? Absolutely. But do I see them as competition? Uh, not really. Do I see them as people who, who who may be stealing, you know, 30 minutes, an hour of somebody else's time from me? I mean, just a little bit. But when it comes to the skill of talking, the skill of, of entertaining, the skill of making an argument, the ability, the ability to tell a story or conduct an interview, I'm not competing with anybody but myself. And when I when I when I when I finish a podcast, when I'm done. I go back and I listen to it. I make my chops. I make my IG vids and all of that stuff. And if I get through it, I go, dang, we ain't got much eye candy this time. I'm not thinking about what so-and-so podcast put out. I'm not thinking about what so-and-so radio show put out. I ain't thinking about what so-and-so blog is doing. I'm like, dang, bro. I'm better than this. And I didn't show it today. So next week when we get back here, we got to pipe up because we get it's me versus me. That's the competition. There ain't no competition when you're competing against yourself because it's being internally focused. But too many of us are externally focused. Like, oh, well, Travis Hunter is playing against a bunch of bumps. It don't matter if Travis Hunter is dominating. It don't matter if Travis Hunter is working on the skills that it takes to be a great cornerback, right? You can line up OBJ or JBO. If he's nice, he's nice. 